It's been 40 years since you launched Hustler. Uh, have you broken any new ground in the last few years? Is there ground to break after all of what you did before? Well, we've always been pushing the envelope. I guess what I'm the most proud of is helping all those young men make it through puberty. <laughs> As you said, you've, you've, you've always pushed the envelope, and there was a time where the envelope was, I wouldn't say it was necessarily easy to push because it wasn't easy to get away with it, but things were a little bit more strict. Do you find it more difficult these days to, uh, to push the envelope? No, I think we have got over the knee-jerk attitude that we had towards sex in the 50s and 60s, and we're more like the Europeans in that sense, and realizing that it's, uh, it's something that's natural and to be enjoyed. Um, I'm bothered a great deal more by the, all the gratuitous violence than I am sex. I want to talk about that, the gratuitous violence, but I also am curious, I mean, if you can look back and say that you've changed this to become more European, more liberal-minded when it comes to sex, what's it like to know that you're also probably the man who uh, did most of that, did most of the pushing. Well, that's true because um, when Hustler started, uh, no one really knew what a woman looked like. And I think that what we did was let the whole nation know that a woman's vagina had as much personality as her face. And the readers loved it.